All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a small vocab activity using your no excuse vocab words. So let's get going. So this is a little bit of a secret video. I won't make it public to everyone, uh, not initially at least. Um, so what we have here are a list of a lot of vocab words. And I figured that I decreased the size a little bit because it looks a little bit intimidating. So what I did is that I made sure that there was only 10. So what you're gonna do right now is either on a blank sheet of paper like how I have over here or on a whiteboard. And then with the dry erase marker, you can write down numbers one through 10. So you guys can do it with me if you'd like. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you run out of room, you guys know what to do. Just go up above, nine, and 10, and then start a new column, just like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is just write down the words. That way we're a little bit more familiar with writing them down, and we'll go from there. So why don't I switch markers? So let's start off with the first couple words. So the first one is first, so F, I R S T and I believe that's from week one. Next word is right. W R I T E. So if you're following along with me, then great. That way you're all caught up. So make sure you guys have this all out and are writing these words with me. So next word is big. B I G. Next word is the opposite of that. Little L I T T. L E. Next word, play. P L A Y. Next word, pretty. P R E T T Y. Next word is the word away. Away, there you go. A W A Y. And then the next couple of words are from your most recent. Uh, vocab words. So the, the first word in that week is one, like as if like you want something. So W O N. Next word is friend, F R I E N D. And next one is off. All right. So that's the ten words that we're going to be talking with today. However, you only need to focus on four. So let me explain what you're doing. Now, again, you can either use another blank sheet of paper like how I have over here, or you can uh, erase your whiteboard and then just look at the list off of uh, this video right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold our paper in half like a card. So that's step number one when it comes to this art activity slash vocab activity. So I'm gonna fold it in half just like so. Ah. But if you have the whiteboard, if you have the whiteboard, all you're gonna do is draw a line down the middle when you're holding it horizontal, okay? All right, next step, if you have just a piece of paper. Okay, we fold it in half like a card, right? Open it up, then fold it down, hot dog style. Just like this. And you should have four rectangles like how I have. And if you are on a whiteboard, you could just draw a line going the opposite direction, or I should say, uh, like the opposite way, I don't want to say that. <laughs> but anyways, um, that's that. Um, a little imperfect, that's okay. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose four words uh, from this list. So this list is from like weeks one all the way through week nine of your vocab. And I want you guys to pick four words that you're comfortable with and drawing something based on that word. So for instance, if I were to pick the word big, Obviously, you draw something that's nice and big. Uh, depending either how you have a whiteboard or a piece of paper like how I have, you want to determine which way you want to hold it. So if you want to hold it like this, if you're more comfortable that way, you can. If you want to hold the paper like this or the whiteboard like this, you can do that too. So before you get started, before you get started, I want you guys to pick the four words first. Well, the words I'm going to choose are the first one I liked, which is the word big. So I'm gonna put that right there. So you wanna put the word that you chose in the bottom section of the box, okay? So let's do another one. I think I'm gonna do the word play. 
right here. The next word I'm gonna choose is one. And my last word I'm gonna choose is either friend or off. All right, so your paper should look something like this or your whiteboard should look something like this. And what you're gonna do, I want you guys to draw something based on that, like I just said. So for big, you can do either one thing or multiple things. Uh, for me, uh, I already discussed what we could draw. Uh, let me teach you guys something real quick. How to draw like three dimensional buildings. I think that'll be pretty cool. So I'm gonna draw like a city, because cities are big. So I'm gonna draw a couple arrows here and there. So here is an arrow, and I'm gonna make sure that the tops of the arrows are nice and wide like that. So a couple arrows here and there. There we go. I'll draw three arrows. And then after I draw those three arrows, I'm gonna bring the end of these arrows all the way down. There we go. And that's gonna symbolize buildings. I'm gonna add a little bit of some dashes to symbolize windows, just like this. I'm not gonna do it on every side of the building because I wanna make sure I have time to do other stuff. All right, and then to make sure people understand that those are buildings, I'll do a few clouds here and there. There we go, because buildings are nice and tall and they reach the sky. There, so buildings are big. <laughs> Alright, so the next word is play. What can I do for the word play? So the most obvious thing is a playground, so why don't I create the ground first, and then the most basic thing I'll draw that I could think of is a slide. So let me draw a ladder going up. Let me draw a little bit higher. There you go. A little scary. It's okay. And then a slide. Ooh, just like that. There we go. And then obviously it needs to be connected to the ground somehow. There you go. And if you want to draw a person on there, you can. Or if you have another idea for play, such as like, I don't know, you could draw someone playing baseball or something, you do that too. Uh, for the next word, I'm going to draw the word one. One, I'm just going to create two lines going this way and two lines going this way. And then attached to this, you guys will probably know what I'm about to do. I'm going to attach a metal. And it's gonna say uh, number one or first place. First. And then I will color it yellow. All right, the word off. Um, there's a couple things you can do. I'm thinking pretty literal and how you can do this. I'm thinking of a light switch. So the best thing I'm gonna do is here, let me do this in gray. I'm gonna draw a letter D. I'm gonna leave the outside of the D open. And then off normally means down, like this. And then I'm gonna draw a rectangle behind it, just like so. And if I wanna make it 3D, I can just by creating some lines right here. And there we are, so it's off. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, vocab activity if you guys are still working. Please continue until your time is up, and I'll see you guys next video. Or next week, I should say. I'll see you next week or Wednesday. All right, bye-bye.